What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and today I've got a 91 overall attribute update for you guys on my playmaking post scorer. So I actually am 42% to 92 overall and I was going to do a 91 overall live reaction but the file actually got corrupted which is kind of bad because from that I would have had a video off that and I also could have had a video because two E-League players actually pulled up on me on Park After Dark and I beat both of them both times, I don't know how. But yeah, that file got corrupted. But right now, the only thing that I have maxed is post offense, and then layups are pretty close. My mid range is only a 61, but I'll show you guys my badges and show you why I can hit some of my mid ranges. And even though playmaking is my secondary archetype, my post scoring is still at an 88, and my strength is at an 86, which I think is pretty good, especially for someone who's 7 feet tall, because I'm not like 7'3 or anything, and I'm still pretty strong. If you take a look at my secondary badges, you can see I have difficult shots, I have dimer, bruiser, brick wall, and relentless finisher, all gold. And these badges are all very good, but I think that the best badge out of all these is dimer. Because when I pass out to my teammates, after getting a rebound, they can hit their shots at a much higher percentage. With the other secondary badges, I have silver badges all maxed over here, except for quick reflexes, which I get from getting steals. So that might not be maxed anytime soon, but I'm happy to have it on silver. And then the bronze badges right here. You can see that mid-range Deadeye is the only bronze badge that I don't have maxed out. And I have it pretty close to maxed out, so I'm probably going to get that maxed out within the next two days just from practice drills, stuff like that. And if you look at all the personality badges, I have all of them. So all of my badges are maxed, except for Lob City Passer, Break Starter, Quick Reflexes, and Mid-Range Deadeye. So those are the only four badges left that I have to work on. Once I do hit 92 overall, it's going to be so much better because I'm going to get the Gym Rat Badge, which basically makes your player have so much more energy because you don't have to go train to get energy all the time. So you're going to have much more energy than before. And I'm really excited for 93 because on that Elite Wheel, there's a bonus, and I didn't know that you could get a limited boost from it. And if I did happen to get unlimited boost, I could have a 66 mid-range as of now. And then with Silver Pick and Popper, I can actually shoot much better. Like right now I have a 61, and I can shoot mid-ranges because of Silver Pick and Popper. So imagine this player with boost. And then also from the wheel, you can get 500,000 VC. So I'm just excited for that wheel because I do spin the wheel every day. And I want to see what it's like to get one of the bonuses. And then at 94, I'm going to get the takeover for the playmaking part of my archetype. And that's going to be good because I can actually break center's ankles sometimes. It's my ball control right now. I think it's a 61. Yeah, it's a 61. I think it maxes out in the mid 60s, like 65 or something. And then with the takeover, I might be able to break some ankles on half spins. And then 95 through 97, I'm not as excited for, but I am very excited for mascots at 98 overall. And then at 99, all the gold badges that I showed you that I have, and all the ones that go to gold that I don't have yet, I'm going to get to Hall of Fame. So I could have Drop Stepper Hall of Fame, all the other post badges that I have gold right now, those go to Hall of Fame. And I can also have Dimer Hall of Fame on this player, which will be crazy. But anyway, that's going to be it for the video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I have a new series coming out really soon. I was actually thinking about it. I made the player for it already. I just haven't upgraded him. So in this series, I'm actually going to be using this big man that I showed you guys in this video, as well as the new player. I'm not going to tell you guys his archetype yet, but he is a point guard. He is 6'6", six six, and it's an amazing player. And if you guys look in the bottom left, you can see I have 230,000 VC. So I'm going to use that to upgrade the player for videos. And honestly, my next video might be for that series, but I'm not 100% sure when I'm going to upgrade him and all that stuff. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'm out. Peace.